Hey guys and welcome back to new new video on this channel. I'm Sabi from Code Revolution. So today I will show you how to scrape ehow.com using the Crawlomatic WordPress scra Scraper plugin. So Crawlomatic is a unique on the market WordPress plugin for scraping, which can do things that other scraping plugins cannot do. So it can scrape dynamic content websites also, which are protected by scraping protection and Crawlomatic can do it. So Crawlomatic can actually do what other scrapers cannot do. So let me show you this in action. So let's copy the URL of the website and paste it here in the scraper start seed URL. Now click settings, scroll down until you see the do not scrape start URL checkbox because we don't want to scrape content from this site, only we want to extract the links from this site. So we want to crawl the, this website for links and we want actually to scrape content from these posts only. Okay, so this checkbox is checked. Now we can go ahead and use the seed page crawling, crawling query type to define which links to extract from the seed page. And now Crawlomatic will fail. So yeah, you heard it right. Crawlomatic will not be able to uh, display this website correctly when I use the visual selector. And I tell you that it will fail because it will behave as the other scraper plugins from the market because this website uses JavaScript render content and it needs a special web a browser to render the content. So as you can see, fail to get web page when user using visual selector. So this is the fail message that hey Crawlomatic was not able to get this content. So to make this work, you will need to go up and install Puppeteer on your website. I will link in this video description how to install Puppeteer on your website and go to content scraping method to use and instead of WordPress default, which other scraper plugins also use, you should select Puppeteer, which needs to be installed on your site. So without installing Puppeteer, this feature will not function correctly. If you don't have the option to install Puppeteer on your server, you can also sign up to Headless Browser API and select Puppeteer Headless Browser API, which is a cloud service I created, which also can render JavaScript uh, dynamic content using a cloud website headless browser API which is also linked in this video description. So this is also optional. Keep in mind that you can simply install Puppeteer on your site which is free and use this method. But this might not be possible and not be an option provided by your hosting provider and in this case I can offer also headless browser API Puppeteer. So let's select the local Puppeteer installation and let's save settings. And now we can go back to the visual selector which failed before because we were using the default scraping method of WordPress which is not able to scrape this website. And now we will, op we will open up the site with Puppeteer. So as you can see the website opened up and all we have to do is click on a link that we wish to scrape. And the plugin will match all the links that match your description so this link was selected but also other similar links will be selected automatically by the plugin. Now let's go down and in the content query type let's also select visual selector and now we will be able to see if the plugin is configured correctly. If yes we will be presented with an article from the page we are wanting to scrape, not the seed page. So as you can see, this is an article page and not the seed page, but this article page loaded up correctly. And this is the correct behavior because in this case, we will be able to highlight the content that we wish to scrape by the plugin. So highlight the content and the plugin automatically fills up the XPath selector for it. Now all we have to do is save settings check our site, it is empty and run scraping. So now the plugin will use Puppeteer which is installed on our site and we'll go ahead and 
crawl the seed page for links so this page and will also extract the content from the post it finds now let's go to our site refresh it and here it is the article is fully scraped with images and all cool stuff if you see duplicate images on the top you have two options you can remove the article featured image from being shown in single post view from your team settings or you can remove the featured image from the post using the plugins main settings and here in the main settings you will find a checkbox that you need to check which will tell you the plugin to remove the featured image from the post content but loading it seems that takes a bit longer but it is loaded now so remove featured image from post content this needs to be checked and also you need to be sure that the featured image selector here in the visual selector is featured image query type is set to the image you wish to remove so for example I will select this image and save and let's delete the post, re-import it and now the plugin will also extract the featured image directly from the post content because otherwise it will extract it from OG image meta tags which might result in a different image. Okay, so as you can see image disappeared now. Okay so keep in mind this is how you will be able to use puppeteer using crawlomatic and to scrape websites like ehow.com and uh, yeah this is a cool feature in crawlomatic which you will not find in any other scraping plugins for wordpress and yeah this is a really unique feature between scraping plugins so I will link Crawlomatic in this video's description. I will link Headless Browser API also in the description. And I will link a tutorial YouTube video on how to install Puppeteer on your own server also in the description. So like, comment, share, subscribe. It is really appreciated. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.